Welcome to Two Projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project Printed Circuit Board Defect Detection Methods Based on Image Processing, Machine Learning and Deep Learning, a Survey. Introduction This initiative revolves around the critical area of detecting defects in printed circuit boards, that is, PCBs, recognizing their pivotal role in the electronic industry. The primary goal is to advance methodologies for defect detection, ensuring the quality, reliability and swift examination of intricate PCBs, all while adapting to the changing dynamics of Industry 4.0. The project directly confronts the contemporary challenges faced by the electronic industry in the fourth industrial revolution. It underscores the importance of real-time high-precision defect inspection in PCBs, a crucial aspect for minimizing wastage and costs. In the face of the increasing complexity and miniaturization of PCBs, the project underscores the indispensable nature of advanced defect detection methods. The intricate nature of modern PCBs leaves little room for error. If microscopic defects go unnoticed, they can lead to a higher rejection rate, increased production of faulty devices and ultimately result in significant material wastage. Additionally, the costs associated with rework and potential recalls can escalate, posing financial challenges to manufacturers. And as customers demand perfection and industry tools get stricter, flawless electronic devices are a must. Advanced defect detection is crucial to meet the high expectations and ensure compliance with industry standards. Ignoring these challenges risks damaging the reputation and competitiveness of electronic manufacturers in the market. And the project's beneficiaries encompass electronic device manufacturers, PCB industries and researchers in the field. By enhancing defect detection accuracy and speed, the project aims to reduce labor costs, improve manufacturing efficiency and contribute to the overall quality and reliability of electronic devices. The insights derived from the project are expected to guide future researchers and practitioners in formulating strategic plans for the continuous improvement of PCB defect detection methodologies. Object of the project So we strive to enhance the precision and speed of defect detection in printed circuit boards that is PCBs responding to challenges posed by Industry 4.0 and the growing intricacy of modern PCBs to ensure high quality manufacturing. And the project aims to leverage the YOLO that is you only look once model covering various architectures such as faster RCNN, Retina Net, SSD, SSD Lite and YOLO V3 Tiny for real-time high-precision defect inspection in PCBs. YOLO's ability to detect objects in an image with a single pass coupled with its speed and accuracy makes it a strategic choice for addressing the contemporary challenges faced by the electronic industry. And we aim to ensure the developed defect detection methodologies are scalable and adaptable, accommodating future advancements in PCB technology. This objective aims to create solutions that remain effective as PCBs continue to evolve in complexity and miniaturization. Requirements needed to execute this project are Software requirements Software needed is Anaconda Primary language used is Python Front-end framework used is Flask Back-end framework used is Jupyter Notebook Database used is SQLite 3 and front-end technologies used are HTML, CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap 4. Hardware requirements needed are Operating system of Windows Processor of i5 and above RAM of 8GB and above and hard disk of 25GB and above. Now we'll discuss the working models of law of work. So the first step is important required packages. So in this initial step, essential libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, TensorFlow and Keras are imported. These libraries provide fundamental functionalities for numerical operations, data manipulation and machine learning model development, laying the foundation for subsequent tasks. The second step is exploring the dataset. So the dataset exploration phase involves reading and plotting images to gain a visual understanding of the dataset. This step is crucial for familiarizing oneself with the characteristics and features of the dataset, aiding in effective pre-processing and model development. The third step is image processing. Image processing tasks include converting images into blob objects, defining classes for the objects of interest, declaring bounding boxes around these objects and converting the process data to a NumPy array. These operations set the stage for further analysis and model training. 
The next step is loading the pre-trained model. Here, a pre-trained model is loaded and its network layers are read and analyzed. The output layers are extracted, providing insights into the structure and features of the model. This step is vital for understanding the architecture that will be used for subsequent image processing. The next step is image processing. So additional image processing involves appending image annotation file pairs, converting color representations from BGR to RGB, creating mass and resizing images. These steps prepare the data for further augmentation and training. The next step is data augmentation. So data augmentation techniques such as randomizing, rotating and transforming images are applied in this step. Augmentation helps diversify the data set, improving the model's ability to generalize and detect defects accurately in varying conditions. The next step is installing YOLO v5 packages in Colab. Here, the required packages for YOLO v5 are installed in the Colab environment, ensuring compatibility and access to the necessary functionalities for model training and evaluation. The next step is training and building the model. In this step, various model architectures including FASTA RCNN with ResNet FPN and ResNet FPN V2, Retina Net with ResNet FPN and ResNet FPN V2, SSD, SSD Lite, YOLO V3 Tiny and YOLO V5S are trained and built. And in the next step as an extension, YOLO V5S is extended to YOLO V5 by 6 for enhanced accuracy. The training phase ensures that the model learns to accurately detect and classify defects in PCBs. As an extension again, a user-friendly frontend is developed using the Flask framework. And user authentication is implemented with SQLite for sign-up and sign-in functionalities. So, after signing in, users can input images or videos, which undergo pre-processing and are fed into the trained model for defect detection. And the detected objects are segmented and displayed with bounding boxes, providing users with a clear visual outcome of the defect detection process. This front-end design enhances user testing and interaction with the defect detection system. Now we'll understand about the algorithms used in this project. So the first algorithm built is FASTA RCNN with ResNet FPN. So FASTA RCNN or region-based convolutional neural network utilizes a region proposal network that is RPN to generate potential bounding box proposals. These proposals are then defined by the subsequent network, which incorporates ResNet feature pyramid network that is FPN for effective feature extraction. ResNet FPN enhances feature representation by leveraging feature maps at different scales, making it suitable for detecting objects of various sizes in PCB images. Its hierarchical architecture aids in accurate and efficient defect detection. The next algorithm built is FASTA RCNN with ResNet FPN V2. Building upon the FASTA RCNN framework, version 2 incorporates improvements in the ResNet FPN architecture. ResNet FPN V2 enhances feature extraction and representation, contributing to more robust and accurate defect detection. The advancements in the FPN architecture make it a suitable choice for handling intricate patterns and variations in PCB images, aligning with the project's goal of achieving high precision defect detection. The next algorithm built is Retina Net with ResNet FPN. So RetinaNet introduces a focal loss mechanism to address class imbalance challenges in object detection. It utilizes ResNet Feature Pyramid Network for feature extraction. In this project, RetinaNet with ResNet FPN proves advantages due to its ability to handle scenarios where defect instances might be sparse or unevenly distributed. The focal loss helps prioritize hard-to-detect defects, contributing to improved overall detection accuracy. The next one is Retina Net with ResNet FPN V2. So Retina Net enhanced with ResNet FPN V2 incorporates improvements in feature extraction and representation. The updated FPN architecture contributes to better handling of fine details and complex structures in PCB images. This version aims to provide a more sophisticated and accurate defect detection mechanism, aligning with the project's emphasis on achieving high quality results. The next algorithm built is SSD that is single shot multi-box detector. So SSD is known for its single shot approach to object detection. It predicts bounding boxes and class scores for multiple predefined aspect ratios and scales in a single forward pass. This efficiency makes SSD suitable for real-time applications. 
in the context of pcb defect detection ssd speed and accuracy in detecting defects across different scales make it a valuable choice for rapid and reliable inspection of pcb images the next one is ssd light so ssd light is a lightweight variant of ssd designed for resource constrained environments it maintains the efficiency of ssd while reducing computational demands in this project ssd light can be beneficial for scenarios where computational resources are limited enabling defect detection in a more resource efficient manner without compromising on accuracy the next one is yolo v3 tiny so yolo that is you only look once is renowned for its real time object detection capabilities the tiny variant of yolo v3 is a lighter version designed for scenarios with resource constraints its speed and simplicity make it suitable for quick defect detection making it an efficient choice for applications requiring swift and accurate identification of defects in pcb images and the last algorithm built is yolo v5s so yolo v5 the fifth version of yolo is characterized by its improved speed and accuracy yolo v5s that is small is a variant optimized for efficiency while maintaining a balance between speed and precision its architecture is well suited for detecting defects in pcb images swiftly and accurately in the context of this project yolo v5s provides a state of the art solution for achieving high quality defect detection results now we'll see the comparison graphs so this is the horizontal bar graph comparing precision scores of different algorithms in this graph on x axis i have precision scores and on y axis i have algorithm names so precision measures how accurate the model is when it says something is defect aiming to reduce mistakes by not marking non defective items as defective this is recall scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have recall scores and on y axis i have algorithm names so recall checks if the model finds most of the actual defects ensuring it does not miss many real defects and this is mean average precision that is map values comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have map scores and on y axis i have algorithm names so map is like an overall grade combining how often the model is right about defects and how many it finds overall higher map means a better overall performance in finding defects so the algorithm which is best performing in all the performance metrics will be used for predictions execution of the project to execute this project first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files so this is dataset folder in which i have pcb images on which we will train the models and this is static folder This folder consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap. This is templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc., which represent different pages of the website. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to front-end logic. It includes code written in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests. interacting with the database and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the html pages these are all model files which contain algorithm information these files will be loaded into the project code during runtime this is notebook jupyter source file which contains a combination of code graphs and outputs all in one place so it allows users to write and execute code in individual cells making it a popular choice for data science These are Python main code files, and this is signup.db file. This file is the database file used to store user information. So now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. I'm copying it. Open Anaconda prompt. So now use the command cd followed by a space and paste the copied path, and hit the enter button. So this command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path. Now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py. I'm typing python space app.py and hit the enter button. So this command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address, local host, and port unless configured differently.
So this is the local host and this is the port. Now copy the local link provided by the framework. I'm copying it and paste it into any web browser. I prefer Chrome. After pasting it, hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Flask framework. So here we can see a sign up link, click on it. So if you are new users, we have to register first. Fill in all these details and click on sign up button to register. And if we already have an account, we can directly log in by clicking on this link. So as I already have an account, I'm clicking on this link. So here we have to provide a credentials, username and password. and click on sign in button. So it has redirected us to the detection page. So now we have to upload the PCB image and the application will draw a bounding box around the defect and classify the type of the defect. Click on choose file button. So here we have to upload the PCB image. I'm giving the first one and click on open. So the image is loaded, now click on upload button. So here we can see the application has detected the defects and it has drawn the bounding box around the defects. And we can see the defect type is classified as missing hole. And we can see a probability score here, which indicates the confidence level of the detection. Now click on back. We'll try giving another image, click on choose file button. This time I'm giving the third image and click on open. So the image is loaded, now click on upload button. So we can see the application has detected the defects and it has classified the defects as mouse byte. And we can see the probability score. Click on back, click on choose file button. This time I'm giving the fifth image and click on open. So the image is loaded. Now click on upload button. So we can see the defect has been detected and the defect type is open circuit and we can see the classification probability score. Click on back, click on choose file button. This time I'm giving the seventh image and click on open. The image is loaded, click on upload button. So this time the defect type is short and we can see the bounding boxes drawn around the defect. So similarly we can upload any PCB image and can get the detections. Now click on sign out. So the conclusion here is the project has successfully contributed to the evolving landscape of PCB defect detection by exploring and implementing state of the art methodologies. It emphasizes the critical role of precision recall and MAP metrics in evaluating the effectiveness of detection algorithms. And the project directly addresses the challenges faced by the electronic industry during the fourth industrial revolution, where PCBs are becoming more intricate and miniaturized. The emphasis is on real-time high-precision defect inspection aligns with the industry's need for efficient and reliable manufacturing processes. The inclusion of YOLO V5, particularly the variants tailored for efficiency and accuracy, showcases the project's commitment to practical implementation. YOLO V5 speed and precision make it a suitable choice for rapid and reliable PCB defect detection, meeting the project's primary aim. And as an extension, YOLO V5 by 6 has been introduced and it ensures heightened performance in identifying and classifying defects in PCBs. Additionally, the incorporation of Flask ensures a user-friendly front-end with secure sign-up and sign-in features, enhancing accessibility and usability. Thank you for watching video. For more projects, please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.